Hi guys, my name is Alan. My name is Kyle, and we're Blue Choo Choo. Today we'll be talking about the Lisa Lim's case. Uh, this is actually one of the most interesting cases in history because it still remains a mystery today. Because it's so interesting, that's why you actually spend a lot of time, actually months of research to find out exactly what happened to her. Uh, the facts are, she's a 21 years old Canadian girl, flew from uh, Vancouver to LA for vacation. Uh, she stayed at a Cecil Hotel in downtown LA. After a couple days she went missing, her body was found in the water tank on top of uh, the hotel. Uh, so these are the facts that we actually gather uh, to find out what really happened to her. We believe someone is actually behind the scene. The Cecil Hotel was built back in 1927 and is the focus for many suicides, murders, and mysterious disappearances. Due to all these incidents, many people believe that it has its haunted sides. Fast forward to Elisa Lam's case, let's focus on the two most popular theories that many people believe why she died. The first theory suggests that she was either possessed or there's a spirit in the vicinity with her. While this does look as though she's possessed, we'll discuss a more logical reason further in this video why she's making these gestures and actions. The second theory suggests that she's playing the elevator game. However, at a closer look, we can determine that she wasn't pressing any of the correct patterns. It seemed as though she was simply pressing random buttons and tried to escape. This is the image of how the elevator game is played. Many would believe that she was playing this game, but with closer inspection, we can already see that she wasn't pressing the fourth elevator key and did not get off at that floor. Now, we'll present the actual facts that we found from gathering the reports on this case. There are a lot of unanswered questions in this case. First, one, one of the most important questions we ask ourselves is, of all the places she can visit, why she specifically choose downtown LA, right next to Skid Row, a place that is infamous for notorious crimes. There was a report indicating that she was on a West Coast road trip. However, this is strong evidence we believe that there was she was meeting someone here. Maybe she met this mysterious person online. As many of you may have seen a video footage, Elisa was acting there was someone with her that night. At one scene, she was trying to hide and escape from this person. The video footage illustrated that she might have pressed the whole button, which explained why the elevator door didn't close. There was a report indicated that when someone pressed the whole button for this hotel, the elevator door would stay open for roughly 2 minutes. As we can witness in this video image, she was holding her hands up because there potentially could be someone who was pointing a gun at her. During this time, it was around 2am on February 1st. What was Alisa doing up so late? Unfortunately, this is the last scene we have of Elisa Lang. Although she had bipolar, this alone does not justify why she killed herself, especially after she had planned out her West Coast road trip. They found her body in the water tank 19 days after her disappearance. Although the coroner found no evidence that she was drugged, sources indicate that drugs only last in her the body for about a week. However, the coroner's report indicated that there were portions of unknown tablets and capsule in her stomach. Not only that, but in the report, it indicated that she was naked in the tank. We suspect that the reason why she's naked is because she took ecstasy and consumed alcohol based on the autopsy report. The potency of ecstasy affects the brain with anxiety, confusion, and paranoia like someone is trying to hurt them or is plotting against them. Ecstasy may cause direct damage to the brain cells that are involved in thinking and memory, and occasionally causes their body to dangerously overheat, making that person naturally look for a water source to cool down. She might have been with somebody that night because people often take ecstasy in a group. This drug is popular with clubbing, concerts, or raves, which explain why she is up at 2am on February 1st. Since she was bipolar, she might have argued with this person, which triggered the motive for this mysterious individual to murder her. The hotel footage indicated that she was unwilling to let out of the elevator. He could have forced her to the death trap by making it seem as though it was an accident. The drugs in her system had completely disappeared by the time they found her body, which could potentially convince the coroner and the general public that she wasn't on drugs. But the water could have diluted the drugs inside the body. This was the only video that police released, and we are positive there are more videos showing this event. However, they are refusing to comment regarding this incident and are quickly to close this case. We encourage you to seek out the truth and demand the police to release more footages without tampering the videos. Thank you for watching the video guys. Happy Halloween. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, share it, and peace. peace.